calling in the National Guard. Now at 10, a new testing boost in California as Omicron fuels a tidal wave of new COVID infections. Thanks so much for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. The news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento. Late this evening, Governor Newsom announcing he's activated the National Guard to help support testing sites. You've seen and maybe you've experienced the long lines, right? 200 National Guard members now will be deployed across 50 sites in hopes of increasing access to quick testing. Today, California's test positivity rate hit an all-time high of 21.7%. So is this surge getting us closer to herd immunity? CBS 13's Adrian Moore is in the newsroom getting answers. Adrian. Elizabeth and Tony, the short answer, according to local doctors, is yes. They're still very concerned about this surge in cases and the Omicron variant, but say COVID is changing, much like strains of the flu, and believe it will ultimately become endemic. With Omicron cases soaring, infectious disease experts say this could be the variant that gets us closer to herd immunity. That's the silver lining with all this. Eventually, everybody's going to get vaccinated or they're going to get COVID. And so we'll, we will have some sort of population immunity. 94% of people must be immune to interrupt transmission, according to the Mayo Clinic. But with COVID, health experts say it is time sensitive, with antibodies declining a few months out. While getting infected provides partial immunity, Dr. Dean Blumberg maintains vaccines are still the best way to reach that number. The more people who are vaccinated and then finally do get, par get partial immunity from infection, you know, that means that when another variant comes around, even if it can escape previous immunity, the partial immunity is likely to make it less severe and more of an outpatient illness. His prediction? COVID infections will become more routine, like the flu, and will begin to live with and protect against outbreaks every year. I think what we're going to learn to do is to live with it. It won't be a pandemic in the future. It will be endemic, and we will learn to live with it just like we learn to live with influenza and other respiratory viruses. As for a timeline here, Dr. Blumberg thinks we'll be in a post-pandemic world in the next several months. He believes we'll start having enough immunity in the population that we will no longer be in this public health crisis. We certainly look forward to that day. Thanks, Adrian.